Okay, let's build a bottom board. This is a bottom board for a standard Langstroth hive. I got this from a local supplier, so it might be different than what you have, but these are the components here. Um, I'll just explain what we have. These are the pieces of the, the bottom board itself. They fit together with tongues and grooves. You'll notice that one side, one piece, will have a smooth, a smooth edge uh, with a tongue on that side, and the other one will have a smooth edge with a groove. Every other piece has a groove and a tongue, so you want to put the smooth sides on the very outside. I think that should be obvious. What we're going to start with is gluing these together. Um, I glue all the components, and what I'm going to do is I just put a little bead of glue there, and I'll pop in the piece that's next to it. You may need to have a hammer or a mallet just to make sure that everything fits nice and tight. You'll also want to make sure the pieces line up on the edge. That's piece one. This is just standard wood glue that I'm using. You can get it at any hardware store. This is piece two. Just gently tap it. You don't want to break these pieces. And the final piece here will join together. Another bead of glue. tap it down. This one was a little bit out of line. So that part you may have to use a little bit more force. So all the bottoms are together. Next up is the side rails. The side rails, uh, as you can see, these are actually 14 and 3 quarter inch long, I think. No. Um, these are 22 inches long. The end pieces are 14 and 3 quarter. They have a <coughs> thicker side and a thinner side. The thicker side is actually going to go up on here. It doesn't really matter at this point since the bottom and the top are exactly the same, but you'll see where that comes into play a little bit later on. So again, what I'm going to do is just put a bead of glue across the whole thing in the groove. And this will fit. On the side of the board, Again, make sure everything is nice and tight. This is actually one of the easier things to put together, but thought I'd show you anyways. Again, some more glue. And the important part here is that you want to make sure the thick side is on the same side that we just put on. So in this case, we put it this way. I'm having a bit of trouble because the boards are a little bit warped and not quite straight, so they're not fitting in this groove. If you start at one end and work your way across, by the time you get to the other end it should all fit. I'm 
Okay, as we did that, you can see one of my grooves opened up again, so I'm just going to flip it up on end. Make sure that's all nice and tight. And there we have it. So, there's one last step. Actually, there's a couple, a couple more steps. Um, what I'm going to do now is nail in these sides. So, it's kind of difficult to see here. Um, but you want to make sure that you're coming through right at the, uh, right at the board. And we're going to use eight one and a quarter nails for that. One and a quarter inch nails. Okay, and now we're coming up to the last nail on the second side, so you can see we have eight nails across the top, or the side rather, and eight nails on the other side. And this is how the bottom board will all sit. The last step that we have uh, are two cleats, and these are going to go one on the top and one on the bottom. These cleats are both 14 and 3 quarter inches long but you'll notice show maybe on this camera one of them the thickness lines up with the top sideboard and the other one lines up with the thickness of the bottom sideboard so we're going to glue and nail the larger one, which happens to be three quarter inch by three quarter inch, we're going to nail that onto the top. Again, a bead of glue. And just bring it right up to the edge. This piece, because it's three quarter inches, and the bottom board itself is three quarter inches. We can use one and a quarter inch nails, and we'll use four of them. And last but not least, we'll flip this over. And we're using our last piece, which is 3 8 by 3 quarters, 3 8 by 3 quarter inch, again by 14 and 3 quarters. And this one, last time, bead of glue. Line it up with the edge. a bit tight. It says in the instructions to make sure that we, we put these cleats on last because as you can see if we were to put them on first they fit quite tightly with the side rails so if we were to put these cleats on first chances are we wouldn't be able to get the side rails tight enough. So it's a good idea to put your cleats on last. And this one because a one and a quarter inch nail would be too long we'll use three quarter inch nails and again we use four of them. If you're using a good 
if you're using a good wood glue, the nails are, are just kind of serving to hold that together while it dries. I think that the glue in this case will probably be stronger than these three quarter inch nails. And there we have it. It's all done. So this is our bottom board for our hive. And it has a cleat on one side and a cleat on another side. And the hive will come up from here. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, um, one thing I'm actually curious about is whether to paint this or not. I've read a few different things saying, some people say to paint it, other people say to leave it bare. I think you could, at the very least, you could paint the outside here. I'm not sure if you should paint the bottom. Um, but what do you think? Leave, leave some comments. Feel free to visit my blog, bees.chrisinch.com. Thank you very much. Bye.